Hi guys, and welcome to episode 5 of my Rising Lords gameplay series. So, this is continuing straight on from episode 4. We've got the troops to 810, and I think I'm ready to come take this northern county up here. It has got same town guard building, which I think gives 100, either 80 or 100 spearmen. Uh, we definitely encountered at least 100 spearmen from this county down here. I think we can take them on. And if not, it's a bit of fun. The game is going quite slow. You can see these guys down here. Wow, tiny. I think they're knights, actually. No, they're, are they knights? Yes, I think they're actually knights. That's why they, they've they done a good job. But yeah, they've taken down south. It's at a much slower pace. So if I do lose, I lose and I experiment a bit. But yeah, I'm actually going to march over right now. I want to take this sooner rather than later. So let's go. Okay, so my troops, the Zatech army led by Sir Gerald Fitzreinfrid have arrived and we're going to attack next turn. I, th I think we can take them. It's about how many um, casualties we take. But I'm interested to see what a normal little county with just a town guard can put up against. Because obviously this one down here has obviously got the, the fort. But apart from that, it hasn't actually got anything interesting. So if we were to attack from the north, I think we just bypass this fort completely. I think that's how it works. I think the forts only are active if you have to attack through them or attack on them. I'm assuming that's how it works, but again, I'm not very experienced with this game. But let's go and let's attack Litimeris. I oh, goodness, all these names are like... I just can't pronounce any of these names. I mean, they're all like German or like Hungarian or something like that. I just can't pronounce them. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we've made contact with the enemy. They have got some archers, they've got two lots of peasants, they have got some crossbowmen, spearmen, spearmen, and swordsmen. This is a large amount of troops, but again, like I said before, they may only have 100 or less than 100 units on one tile. Well, we've got 150, 150, we've got 250, I think, archers, 180, but we've only got 40 spearmen there, which isn't particularly good. But they're more of just an auxiliary unit to support the archers. Okay, we've arrived, and the enemy's already got some troops. Like, yeah, 50 swordsmen, 75 archers. Ugh, no match for us. I am... Um, hmm. We can spawn all... In fact, our camp is all the way back here. Wow, this is really interesting. The map is now both counties in one. This is new. Okay. I can't put troops up here, though. That's a bit frustrating. But I'm going to put... Hmm, where, where do I want my archers? I definitely don't want to fight... On this bridgehead. Actually, no, I could. That's a complete opposite. I could fight on this bridgehead because I, I think I have more archers than the enemy. Or if not, I have range of priority. I can just keep shooting at them and they can then. Oh, actually, no. I, I would prefer to attack down here. So. Swordsman there. Swordsman here. Ah, oh, yeah, look at this. 55 spearmen, 100 spearmen. Yeah. We should be able to take them on. I'm going to put. Archers back here. More archers here. 150 peasants. Get the spearmen back here to sort of guard them. And the general, he's going on this bad boy. Okay, the battle has started. These are our cards. Trap, useful, but this battle is quite closed. Barrage fire. Yeah, this is a, these, these are all these brand new cards I just bought. That is great. Let's accept that. And I actually want to use some of these straight away. Good remember, every round we do get new cards, so there's no point just holding on to them. Nine nine casualties there from that those archers. I want to do shoot area. Oh wow, we get to choose the area. I didn't think it'd be like that. They've got woodland, so they're gonna take less damage from range. I'm gonna shoot here. And it's 60% less damage to each, but obviously we we hit two extra tiles. So let's go. 44, 11, 11. Nice. Wow, look, we only take one to three. These are spearmen. Wow, just think how good swordsmen would be if spearmen only take three casualties and do that. I mean, 28, and we take two. Wow, that is. Peasants are so pathetic in this game. But the thing about peasants, there is one unit who. Um, one faction, sorry, who actually gets scythe, I think they're called instead of peasants, but they're still. Quite bad. I don't think there's any point in hiring peasants. You get less workers, 
And this, the other soldiers are already so cheap to make, but they're so much better. Anyway, let's set fire. Oh, we can't. Select an area. No, we just need some barrage. Hmm. No, can't use this. I think. I don't really know why we can't use these. Never mind. 31, 38. Hmm. I can't attack these guys because they're right next to me, so the, I'll actually go into melee combat. So, I think I'll actually destroy them. There we go. Those archers are dead now. We, we've actually gained morale as well. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. We took five casualties and we just <laughs> eliminated that unit. Wow. Oh my goodness. I feel we are very strong, and I keep doubting how strong our swordsmen are, but we are just demolishing them. Okay, we took 12 there. 23 back to them, but we did lose um, some longbowmen. Okay, but now it's just a wave of the enemy throwing their troops at us. Oh, he can't fight back. That's just shame. These peasants are going to push up, I'm assuming, and attack this guy as well. Yep. But again, he's taken so little casualties. From all these attacks. I'm assuming them they're, they're gonna attack him again. 17. Okay. But now the big boy gets to gets to play, and there is a chance I can one-shot their general without taking any casualties. Oh, this is a joke, right? Oh wow. We took no casualties. Wow. This is unbelievable. Crossmen are doing a good amount of damage though, 17. First strike. I'm gonna add first strike to this guy because this is who the AI will attack. But I'm gonna also. Oh, 100. Oh my goodness. The enemy's almost run out of morale, let alone troops. Finish these guys off. The general's army's lost again. I think they've actually. They've run out of morale. Oh! Victory again, and we lost 81 troops compared to the enemy's 490. Which this game is the clear example of quality over quantity in combat. The enemy, obviously, I know the enemy had less troops than us in this situation, but a fraction of our troops took on almost the entire enemy army. Those spearmen and peasants were basically killed by just those swordsmen, so. That really shows. And now we've got a new county up here, which is good. It branches us down into two new counties, which we can take. If I am going to take one, Haradek, Haradech up here is the best one because the Green Nation over here actually has access to this. You can see where the borders here. So they could take it from us. This one in the middle, nobody can take it yet. I, yeah, they don't have borders with it. So I want to go for this one up here. This is the one down here. Hmm, the purple dudes could take it and look, they've also taken this one. So this one here is going to be in close competition between gold, green and purple. And you can also see <laughs> the gold buggers who are here are in the exact same situation which is what I was in with uh, episode 1. They're about to get blocked in if they do not take this, this bit of land here. But we're doing good. We took very little casualties, We've got a new county up here and we can get ready to push on and take more counties. So with this new county, we've got tons of workers on this woodcutters. We're clearing land already. They're almost actually done. I am going to put two workers on putting up the fire in the church. Three, we've got this, these extra dudes. Um, actually, what else do I want to, what else do I want to do? I do need more housing. I think I'm going to get them building. That's what I'm going to do. So, Smith Dwellings in. We don't actually have a bathhouse. No, that is a bathhouse. No, that's a church. So, we do need a bathhouse. Which is... I'll take one from there. That'll take two turns to get the bathhouse built. We then have some more farming jobs over here. I'm going to build the windmill. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Uh-oh. That's, an, that's annoying. We're going to need to get more wood. We've been using it all and making a, the range weapons. 
Anyway, looking over here at our other counties, um, our capital's doing fine. Food, no, it's not doing fine. Our food is a major problem. Yikes, food is a major problem, actually. Um, but we, this is the problem with this game. Not a problem with the game, but a problem in the game. I can't do anything about that. It's not like I can build more food buildings. I've already got all the farms with the maximum amount of people that... Yeah, maximum amount of people just checking. Maximum people they can have. And they're fully upgraded. There isn't really much more I can do. And I've also have got cattle here who provide a, a different type of food source. I could eat the cattle. That relieves the wheat, but still not particularly good enough. I'm going to lower this to normal ration. And I think we'll stick at normal ration for now. Down here in Pilsen, we do actually have service workers. Two here, two here. We do need more dwellings, which I could get. No, I don't have any wood. I am going to get by putting them there. Don't need... I think I'm just to do this, yeah. Give us a bit of surplus iron, and we're producing a lot of heavy armor. But I do need a new house, but we don't have the wood, so I don't have to wait, wait a bit for that. Actually, I could take worker off here. Still making seven, and gets us some more wood. Brilliant. And yeah, we looted some stuff there. Gold, weapons, nice, good stuff. So, wait another turn, and we can start doing some more stuff in Little Marissa up here. Okay, so the farms are cleared, the field I should say, sorry, but we can't start working them until winter hits. So I'm going to get these two workers, get them getting wood for now, and we'll leave that. That all seems to be going good. The touch is fine. I have got a merchant who I'm going to buy some wool from. We do need more wool, and we're not producing it ourselves. And then with that, I'm going to build some more houses. Nope, need more wood. So I'll buy some more wood just for this turn. And then dwellings. And dwellings are four, so we just need two workers. Yeah, two workers. And but already, look at this, we've got a hundred. 17 armor wow we can make a huge army this is unbelievable actually we can make a ginormous army they're actually offering us an alliance and they've just taken that territory up here I am going to accept their alliance but I don't really care about being friends with them I care more about resisting their occupation up here that has made it clear I need to take Praha very quickly before they block me in because if they take Praha they're most likely also going to take uh, Fradech down here so I need to beat them to it but their army seems to be weak 547 troops and I'm assuming it isn't all in those swordsmen so our army of around 800 troops sorry 700 troops with longbowmen who are unique to the Brits and a lot of swordsmen we've definitely got them okay up here in Lagsmaris transfer them to the fields them to the fields we are running out of wood mm, I'll buy a bit more wood buy 150 600 yep there we go 20% more yield we also need one here but we don't have the wood um, so with all this armor being produced, and now I'm going to switch this to, to swords. I am going to be able to get another 200, well, around 200 swordsmen, and we could even take on some of these nations. And look at this, a thousand gold per tick, and we've now got, sorry, I keep saying per tick from Amir, uh, per turn. So we're now actually earning a lot of money. I could buy stuff in if I wanted to. I'm not going to though. Um, actually, no. No, I am. <laughs> I am. That's a lie. I am. Um, I want to get a castle built. And even though Zetech is obviously the most sensible place to do it, I want to build it here in Lightsmaris because it's closest to if we were going to get attacked by the green, 
who actually have two armies. If we were going to get attacked, I've got some good defense here. So, stone castle. It's actually pretty cheap, so I need really a lot of stone. Get that built, and I can get a stables built next to it when it's done. And if I ever want to, I can fortify this, this city, this county, so the enemy attacking will have to face our fortifications. And that will be new to me as well, so I'm really excited to do that. So one thing I forgot is the iron and the other resources up here are universal. Well, they transfer to each county, don't they? So I, I could actually produce, yeah, iron armor here, the heavy armor, and it just takes the iron from our uh, pool at the top. So that I don't have to just limit it to down here. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, well, I'm not while well, I've got that, but that is something I, I can do, I should say. Put that back to the range weapons and some free workers here. They built the dwellings. I need some more wood. And. Hmm. No, not swords. Yeah, I put them all in wood, as I do want some more woods. Well, the bailiff has retired, and it, hopefully he'll come back again soon. But yeah, that's what I want to do in the next few rounds, just as I get more swords. In fact, two rounds, 60 swords per turn. Another 180 swordsmen. Hire them into our ranks, and we'll head on down. Oh! <gasps> no! They're going to take it. Look at this. They're actually on a path to take it already. Hmm, now this is interesting. They're going to beat me to this town. I'm going to come to Praha and take it. But, I might have to war green. In fact, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Praha first. It's got silver mines. It stops purple from being able to take it. And it's just a nice town. I'll build a big army, and I think I will attack the Greens, who I've just made an alliance with, but they're becoming too strong for me. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. There's uh, too much I want to do to continue this episode, so I'm going to do it in the next episode, episode 6. hope you have enjoyed this episode. Give the video a like if you have uh, if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more Rising Lords content. Write a comment. Give me some advice if you're familiar with the game, or if you want to ask any questions, then fire away. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in episode 6.